Have you heard of the 1997 Uma Thurman, Ethan Hawke movie Gattaca? It was set in the not so distant future where the earth is full of genetically perfect humans. But what about CRISPR, the real world gene editing tool that could make the premise of Gattaca a reality? CRISPR is all about advanced gene therapy and splicing, and it's bringing sci-fi ideas straight into reality. Here's a rundown of everything you need to know about CRISPR and how it's changing the world as we know it. Listen for yourself, and you can decide whether it's exciting or terrifying. You're watching The Deets, a show where we demystify the technologies that are shaping the future. I'm your host, Riley Wynn. We're not talking crispier like your fried chicken. We're talking about CRISPR. CRISPR refers to unusual DNA sequences that originate in bacteria and are used to identify and neutralize threats, especially viruses. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. So is that just a fancy way of saying a DNA strand? Well, yes and no. CRISPR enables gene splicing, editing, and experimentation. And the reason scientists are so excited about the potential is, if perfected, CRISPR could not only eradicate certain diseases, but also solve a lot of the big problems facing humanity right now. From supercharging agriculture to potentially rescuing coral reefs, here are six examples of exciting CRISPR projects that show just why this gene editing tech has everyone talking. Number one, curing HIV. HIV treatment has come a long way over the years, largely because of antiretroviral drugs that stop the HIV virus from replicating in the body. However, antiretrovirals only keep HIV at bay for as long as they're taken. Stop taking the drugs, the HIV virus comes back. Even worse, it can cause patients to build up a resistance to the antiretrovirals, making them less effective in the future. Researchers from UC San Diego may be able to help HIV patients, courtesy of a new genetic sequencing approach that could possibly provide a kill switch to clear out dormant HIV reservoirs inside cells. By using CRISPR gene editing, their work suggests that it could stop HIV from reoccurring in the event that antiretroviral treatment is stopped and could potentially lead to a cure for HIV. Number two, saving the world's coral reefs. Coral reefs dying doesn't just mean that you'll have fewer photos for the gram from your next tropical vacation. It has the potential to be an ecological and economic disaster, which will affect millions of people and a whole lot of other creatures too. Looking to change that, an international research project is using CRISPR to examine exactly how and why environmental changes hurt coral reefs. No, there are no immediate plans to create a CRISPR-enabled breed of super coral, but understanding coral genes will help researchers get a grip on coral bleaching and how it's affected by climate change, and hopefully start making an effort to reverse it. Number three, malaria-resistant mosquitoes. Mosquitoes play a big role in the spread of malaria, a parasitic disease that kills hundreds of thousands of people each year. Researchers from Johns Hopkins University have used CRISPR gene editing to engineer mosquitoes that are resistant to the malaria parasite. By deleting a gene that enables malaria to survive in the mosquito's gut, the parasite is left unable to survive for long enough to be a danger to humans. Seems simple enough, right? Well, the problem so far is that modified mosquitoes are less likely to thrive in the wild, so they're less likely to pass on their genes than ordinary mosquitoes. However, the researchers are working on a way to change that. Number four, limitless supply of transplant organs. There's an enormous and deadly shortage of transplant organs worldwide. Could CRISPR gene editing help? Quite possibly, yes. One international research initiative wants to use gene editing on pigs to turn them into safe organ donor candidates for humans. The use of CRISPR in this case involves eradicating pig-based diseases, known as porcine endogenous retroviruses, aka PERVs, which are embedded in pig DNA. So far, scientists have been able to breed pigs that are 100% PERV inactivated. The next step in research will involve carrying out additional work to make the process of transplanting tissues or organs from one species to another possible. Number five, agriculture. 
The world's population is rapidly increasing, and that brings a range of challenges when it comes to feeding everyone. Research aided by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has demonstrated that it is possible to use CRISPR to improve the efficiency of how crops use water by 25% without compromising their yield in the process. This is achieved by using CRISPR to trick the plant into partially closing its stomata, the microscopic pores in the leaf, which release water. So far, the gene editing has been showcased in tobacco crops, since these are easier to modify and quicker to test than other crops. However, because the gene being altered is found in every plant, this discovery could be applicable to a vast number of crops and could supercharge agriculture as we know it. Number six, curing ALS. The ice bucket challenge may have helped raise money for ALS, aka Lou Gehrig's disease, but CRISPR could one day help treat it. Researchers at UC Berkeley have shown that it is possible to disable the defective gene, which triggers ALS in mice. Although they were not able to get rid of the disease permanently, their treatment extended the mice's lifespan by 25%. They believe that the research could be carried over to humans, with the possibility of extending the time frame of additional healthy years. And with ALS being such a rapid disease, this extra time could mean a lot to those afflicted and their families. The gene editing in Gattaca showcased the negative outcomes of a technology like CRISPR. But in the real world, it's a very positive science. That doesn't mean that there aren't concerns. Many people have raised the question, should we be tampering with our DNA to make us perfect? Aren't our imperfections what make us human? Or is the ethical dilemma some may face worth saving lives? Whether you like it or not, CRISPR will be ingrained in our future DNA. Do you think we should be tampering with genetics? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Riley Wynn with Digital Trends, and thanks for watching.